Welcome to the next episode of the CR250 restoration. Today I will be focusing on the intake and exhaust. So let's start with the most complicated part, the carb. So this is it, and as you can clearly see, it's in a pretty sorry state, but not for much longer. So let's get gloved up and start the restoration process. If you would like to know more about how a carb works, I have an explanation in my Ducati Monza video. I will leave a link in the top corner and in the description. Well, here we are, moment of truth, inside the float bowl. Well, that's a surprise. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. With the removal of the pilot screw, that is the carb torn down as far as it needs to go. Now I'm going to give the body a pre-wash in the parts washer, and then I can transfer everything over to the ultrasonic cleaner.
that's much better already. But let's go even further by drilling out all the rivets so that I can remove and replay all the steel parts. After a quick tidy up, I am going to put the parts in an acidic solution to remove the old plating, and then I can replate them with a nice fresh coating of zinc.
and with the fitting of the cap, that is the carb complete, apart from the vent hoses which will be added when the carb is fitted to the bike. But for now, let's put it away safe and get on with the airbox. And just like that, the air box is back together. I haven't forgotten to oil the air filter, I'm saving that for once it's on the bike. Now for the exhaust system. So the main job here is to split the silencer by removing these two screws and pulling this end cap off, clean it all out and then repack it with fresh packing wool. As you can see in there, the, the baffles seem pretty clogged, so I don't think it's ever been repacked in its life. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to take the expansion chamber outside and fill it full of engine cleaner. That will dissolve all the oil and carbon inside the chamber and leave it spotlessly clean, and then we can clean it up a bit. So, let's do that.
There we are. One hollow tube. Now, let's get the can and the baffle all cleaned up. Well, after cleaning the expansion chamber, and my spill of course, I'm delighted to say that the pipe is in great shape. In fact, so good that it has to have been swapped out at some point, as there is no way this is an 86 pipe. Uh, anyway, all it needs is a quick scuff up with some 320s, and then a nice fresh coat of high temperature matte black. So, let's get on with that. I was going to get the exhaust repacked and rebuilt this episode, but because of my stupidity, 
I've ordered nowhere near enough parking, so I'm afraid I'll have to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and will join me next time for a lot more progress on the CR restoration. And as always, a massive thank you goes out to all of my supporters over on Patreon, whose help and support are instrumental in keeping these restorations going. If you'd like to check it out, follow the links in the description below, or there'll be a card in the top corner. See you all again soon.